Hello everybody, what's happening today? Welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast review and today we're going to take a look at Finish Line Lightning McQueen. So before we get right into the review, let me explain something. So during the Dynaco 400 at the of the 2005 Piston Cup season at the Motor Speedway of the South, Motor City, Tennessee, USA, Lightning McQueen headed into pit row, row and refused to get fresh tires from his pit crew, especially my not Chuck, and as a result, blown out both of his rear tires, and the race ended in a never-before-seen three-way tie between him, Chick Hicks, and Strip the King Weathers, who was on the verge of retiring. So anyway, let's get right into the review here. And on the front, we have his ton, his worried expression, number 95 on his right headlight sticker, and on the hood we have his Rusty's logo and a, his lightning bolt stickers on both sides, and his eyelids raised up, and and on the left side we have a a number 95 on a retro lightning bolt several contingency sponsor logos such as the pit nitro aid the piston cup revolting mood springs octane gain vitaling no stall gaskets gas sprint easy idle little torquey pistons rpm leakless retread and clutch aid a rusty's logo and a gas cap and a a red rims, although one has a, two of them have red rim light year, black wall light year racing tires, while the back, while the back on both sides don't. And on the top we have a number 95 and a, in his name signature, and on the spoiler we have another Rusty's logo, and on the back we have another Rusty's logo and a number 95 on the one of his back, back headlight stickers and a, the slogan medicated bump ointment on a yellow bumper sticker and on the side re repeated design and that is it so let's compare him to the other McQueen's in his bright red paint job and his other escapades and other paint jobs so we've got the regular Cars 1 Lightning McQueen so let's compare him, because as you can see, they kind of look similar because of these two, because they both have the Rusty's logo on the spoiler, and but there is a slight difference. The it's the Finish Line Lightning McQueen has no rear tires, while the regular Cars 1 McQueen has rear tires. And, and finally, with Ton Lightning McQueen, so both of them were released, released with a ton. And again, again, this one has no rear tires, while well, this, while well, the Ton Lightning McQueen has rear tires, because this one jumped into the air, 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 at, while avoiding a wreck, which was a pretty wild stunt. And another difference, and here's another difference. The Finish Line Lightning McQueen has Rusty's logo on spoiler while the Ton Lightning McQueen has no spoiler. But I'm glad, but I'm glad that's been incorrected did with this Lightning McQueen here. 
Right. We've got also got Cactus Lightning McQueen. Of course, of course, I, I, I drew a black marking with a black sharpie on this to make it look like the tarn marking from when he was repaving Radiator Springs' Main Street with Bessie. And no Rusty's logo on spoiler. We got Cactus McQueen. Cactus Lightning McQueen, I meant. We've got, and now for Lightning McQueen, means other paint jobs in Cars 1. We've got Dynaco Lightning McQueen. Cactus, I mean, I mean, not Cactus, I mean, Cruisin Lightning McQueen. And finally, Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen. And that is it. And, and before I get into the closing, I, mean, I just want to also say that this finish line Lightning McQueen I got from the Piston Cup Race 11 pack, which I previously unboxed in one of my previous videos. It was on, on Christmas Day I mean, last year. So, what? So, let me pull up Strip the King Weathers and Chick Hicks. Oh, hold on. There, that's better. So, what do you guys think? Which Cars 1 Lightning McQueen is your favorite? Right. And which version of Cars 1 Lightning McQueen in his bright red paint job um, um, is your favorite? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, I forgot to mention, don't forget to leave any suggestions on which car are of the past should I review next? So I'd like to thank my 11 subscribers and this video is a shout out to them. So please consider enter subscribing my channel and also and I also I'm gonna be cause I'm trying to plan on how to scout for new cars or transformers to review. And I think I know the sources. eBay, Amazon, Walmart, Target, Meyer, Ollie's, Walgreens, the dollar stores and thrift stores and flea markets and hobby stores and toy fan addict. And I'm and I'm also wondering which type of car packaging should I get? Should I get a single, deluxe, two-pack, multi-pack, or whole case? So, if I want to get a case, I'm, I'm wondering if I should get a case from Get Me Collectibles. So, see, so, so, see, so, goodbye now.